Hello and welcome. In this course, we will learn how to use ANSYS OptiSlang process integration and design optimization software to perform parametric variation analysis for ANSYS Fluent fluid simulation software through an example problem. In this lesson specifically, we will go over problem description of our example problem of a duct containing turning vanes. We will explore the geometry, the mesh, the ANSYS Fluent Solver setup and the input and output parameters involved in the analysis. Furthermore, we will briefly discuss the tasks in this analysis and the corresponding ANSYS OptiSlang workflow. Let's get started. In this example, we will consider a duct equipped with two sets of turning vanes. Turning vanes are used to help flows navigate geometrical bends and turns in a smooth fashion in order to reduce the pressure loss across the bends. They also provide added benefits such as noise reduction, particle control and better structural support. The positions of the turning vanes which can be adjusted by rotating them around axis located at the inner corners of the duct will be our input parameters. As the positions of the turning vanes vary, so does the pressure drop across the duct, making the latter a suitable output parameter. The goal of this analysis is to optimize the rotational position of each set of vanes to achieve the lowest possible pressure drop. Each set of vanes can be independently rotated by plus or minus 9 degrees. In this course, we will be conducting sensitivity analysis and optimization of the pressure drop through the duct with respect to the position of the turning vanes. Let us take a look at these parameters in ANSYS Discovery 3D product simulation software and ANSYS Fluent Solver. Launch ANSYS Discovery software and open the turning underscore vane discovery file provided with the input files for this course. Review the geometry, the named selections and the parameters. The rotations of vanes 1 and vanes 2 are controlled by the input parameters vanes 1 underscore rotation and vanes 2 underscore rotation respectively. The parameters were created using history tracking. You will notice the parameters when you expand history tracking. Feel free to experiment with the parameter values by setting them between plus and minus 9 degrees. You will see the vanes shift position when you click on continue. Next, launch ANSYS Fluent software in meshing mode and open the provided mesh file. Review the watertight workflow settings used to generate the volume mesh. After examining the mesh, open ANSYS Fluent software in solution mode and read the provided case file. Let us have a look at some of the key settings. Since water is the working fluid, water liquid material is assigned to the fluid zone in the model. An inlet velocity magnitude of 0.167 meters per second is defined normal to the inlet boundary while a pressure outlet condition is defined for the outlet. The vanes and the duct wall are assigned wall boundary condition with default settings. Expand the parameters and customization section in the outline view to reveal the output parameter. Double click on the parameter to review its definition. It is defined as the area weighted average pressure at the duct inlet in a surface report definition. Since the static pressure is set to zero at the outlet, this parameter represents the pressure drop across the duct. We will now briefly discuss the procedure for this analysis. ANSYS OptiSlang application can be accessed in two ways. It can be embedded in the graphical user interface of the various parametric ANSYS platforms or used from the ANSYS OptiSlang user interface. Starting from ANSYS Fluent Software version 2024 R2 and onwards, we have the ability to directly access ANSYS OptiSlang algorithms 
allowing us to conduct sensitivity analysis and optimization within the ANSYS Fluent interface. However, it is important to note that all necessary input and output parameters for the analysis must be defined within ANSYS Fluent case file. But in this course, we will use the ANSYS OptiSlang application and integrate ANSYS Discovery software for geometry variation and ANSYS Fluent software in the ANSYS OptiSlang user interface. Our first step is process integration where we will automate the simulation process including geometry generation, meshing and solving. For process integration, note that we must have a valid simulation model and provide references for all required input and output files. In general, it is recommended to manually run a single design point and store the files in a folder adjacent to the ANSYS OptiSlang project. However, for this use case, all necessary files have been prepared and are ready to use. As already seen, we have the geometry file from ANSYS Discovery software, a mesh file with a valid volume mesh generated in ANSYS Fluent Meshing and a valid simulation case file from ANSYS Fluent Solver. Please download these files and save them on your local computer in a folder named Reference. This will ensure all files needed for the process integration are readily available. The result of process integration is an automated workflow that will create the geometry including input parameter variations, generate the mesh and simulate the case to produce the corresponding output parameter. The process integration step is followed by sensitivity analysis using the adaptive meta model of optimal prognosis or AMOP approach to assess the importance of input parameters. Finally, we will perform single objective optimization. To summarize, in this lesson, we discussed the example problem used to illustrate parametric variation analysis for ANSYS Fluent software using ANSYS OptiSlang application. The goal is to optimize the rotational positions of the turning vanes to achieve the lowest possible pressure drop and we briefly talked about the workflow that will be followed in this analysis. Utilizing a standalone OptiSlang interface, we will undertake process integration, sensitivity analysis and optimization. With this, we come to the end of the lesson.